Hello, this is Wilson Marr. I hope you enjoyed this little five minute video on how to get started with HP ALM. From this site, HP customers obtain production license keys. Outside the HP firewall, trial software and interesting documents can be downloaded at HP's Download Center. Use keywords ALM11 as keywords ALM by itself won't return any software. If you don't already have a HP Passport credential, you can register for one with any email account. Installers come with an initial default license which enables the software to operate for a limited time. A different product ID is used for per seat than concurrent licenses which require a license management server to be installed and configured. The legal amount of time for trials is stated deep in the agreement you agree to before downloading. For large applications such as Load Runner and Quality Center, a Z01 file is downloaded so that no file is bigger than 2 gigabytes. Download both files to the same folder before unzipping. Unzip software will automatically grab the additional file or issue an error if it's not found. Find the most recent patches from this web page. The version on the web page refers to the base version from which patches are installed. For ALM patches, search for Quality Center. Version numbers on the website may not be in numeric sequence. Some patches are only applicable to a particular operating system. Some product teams, such as Quality Center, issue cumulative patches, so only the latest patch needs to be installed. Subscribe to get notifications about new patches as soon as they become available. This internal HP site is used by HP employees to download installers for internal use. Installers for languages other than English, such as Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, are also available only from the internal site, as are installers two generations back. A Venn diagram might help to clarify overlaps among product downloads. Installers for HP's functional testing product, formerly known as QTP, and the service test product for web services testing are also part of the unified functional test suite. ATKO Lisa is a third-party product also used for web services testing. TDM, Test Data Management, new along version 11, is not among public downloads. Printer for manual testing is new to ALM11, the new name for Quality Center. SAP components for Quality Center need to be searched separately. SAP directly supports enterprise integration and business process testing add-ins to Quality Center. However, SAP Change Impact Testing is offered directly from HP. The HP Agile Accelerator for Quality Center is a project template and software for generating Agile reports. It's only available to HP employees from an internal wiki reference as part of a HP Services offering. The Performance Center product makes use of ALM for core web server and database functionality. And Performance Center uses components of LoadRunner, which is also available as a standalone product. Among downloads for Performance Center is a Unix version of Load Generator. Diagnostics downloads are included in both Performance Center and LoadRunner. But SiteScope is only included among LoadRunner downloads. Software associated with HP's LR to PC services offering is obtained from a separate internal site. Unlike the public download site, the internal site provides for use of the HP Download Manager by Akamai. I recommend that you download using a Download Manager utility, especially if you have a slower internet connection, because they enable you to continue where a download was interrupted. Otherwise, you'd have to start all over with every interruption. Not in the public site, but in the internal site, are MD5 checksums used to verify whether individual files were downloaded completely. Digest IT 2004 is my checksum freeware of choice because it's integrated into Explorer. So I just right click on a file rather than opening up another program. Rather than using disk space to expand ISO files, download and install daemon tools, a popular freeware program which runs in the background to mount ISO files as a virtual drive. Finally, copy installers to a USB external chip or drive. Visit my website for more details about this and other topics. So long!